All right, hello everybody. My name is Thiago. Uh, see if it's working. Yeah. So, so my name is Thiago Maia. I'm working as a motion graphic director in a, a own, I call my own studio called Cake. And uh, so basically, I'm gonna see. I made a little plan, but I wanna know how much you guys know. A little bit. I'm gonna show. Does anyone use After Effects? Everyone? No? No? All right. So what I'm gonna try to do today is uh, it's always difficult to know how much you guys know or not. So I see quite a few people never use. So we're gonna go a little bit slow. See if you guys need me to stop me anytime. Ask question if I'm going too fast. Ask questions because sometimes. I think it's too basic, but maybe it's too not too basic for you guys. So I think first you guys need to log in. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You just log in the, the password is escape with escape B with two E's. See if everyone is fine, log in. Yeah. So basically so we're gonna talk about motion graphic today. And uh, I think that's fine. And uh, basically, what is motion graphic? Motion graphic, pretty much, you can see everywhere on TV, film industry, and uh, screens, and uh, everything. Let's just wait for this. Everyone is logging. Cool. So, I assume everyone is logging. And so, we're going to talk about motion graphic. All right, guys. You guys, pretty much, my guinea pig. The first time I do a workshop, I really do talks and everything, but I never did a workshop. Uh, but I run a company, so my team, junior, or other people work with me as well. So basically, we're gonna go through a little bit of motion graphic. I'm gonna show you a show reel for you guys. I don't know if you guys either be researching or more them or not, but for who doesn't, I'm just gonna show a little bit of the, our show reel of the company. And I'm gonna show one of the videos we did. Uh, I think it was this year for Wire Festival, and uh, it's basically it's like using shapes and that kind of thing in After Effects to create. It's quite a trendy thing at the moment, using like a, a lot of graphic elements to generate like uh, to create animation, make like things. So I'm gonna try push you guys a little bit today. We we'll see how long you know how much I can push you guys. We we'll stop, explain more thing. I'm gonna show a little bit of After Effects. I'm gonna open Simfoodi, explain a little bit how it works for you guys, and I'm gonna try to show a few things I think is important in After Effects and both general for motion graphics and if you After Effects, Simfoodi, Maya, or whatever software you use. Okay, so I just wanna what I wanna work with you guys will be three things: keyframing After Effects and the keyframes in general. You can use in After Effects, Simfoodi or my or any software and so I'm going to explain to you guys and uh, a little bit of one thing I think is really important is how to use manipulate the curves for animation it's not that basic but it's not that complex when you start getting your head over and that I think is really important to make like a good animation a good motion graphic other thing I want to work is a shape layer so shape layer is pretty much it's like layers in After Effects. I'm gonna explain if you guys don't know why it's layers, but it's pretty much like you draw inside Illustrator, so you can create shapes inside the After Effects, and you can manipulate them nowadays. It's the same like in Synth 4D. You have like a more graph, or it's like creating a cube. Let's say in Synth 4D, you can create like a, a square in After Effects. So using that, you can manipulate that in different ways. Like you have in Synth 4D, you have like more graph. You can use a similar way in After Effects. So I'm going to concentrate more with you guys on I think on After Effects. So it's make it easy for we try and get a little bit more of the class as well. And the other thing is a mask. So a mask is pretty much you can use for a lot of things. You can try draw things on the computer. It's pretty much is like it's a path. You creating curves. So you creating shapes. But it's not the same as a shape layer because a shape layer you, you can draw as well, but you can manipulate in different ways. And a mask you can use for VFX as when you need to take someone's out of the image, so you use a mask. 
or you can create like a circle and you can manipulate the shape to make like round and animate the mask through the animation as well. So this kind of animation I'm gonna try go today with you guys is a bit like it's kind of a trendy thing at the moment, so everyone you can see a lot of showreels, a lot of things people are using. So what I prepare for you guys is a little it's a little animation like this, pretty much simple, but it has all these fundamentals. Um talking to let's see if we can play real time so it is the basic thing of a bounce ball but we're gonna use a cube and this is pretty much a shape layer or we can use as a mask for that we're gonna work with the curve or in the animation to try you know make not going really you can see they have different time when animation so it, they easy in and out so I'm gonna try to explain to you guys that so you can use that for anything so you can exaggerate your animation you can make your animation simple make different weights for that and uh, I'm gonna start explain let's open After Effects so I can explain a little bit After Effects for who doesn't never saw After Effects before so, if you guys want me ask any question anytime, just ask questions. So, cool. So basically, this is when you open After Effects for people. Don't worry about that. And uh, basically, what we have is After Effects is kind of similar as well. If someone work as an editor but never work with After Effects, it's a similar software as well. Basically, you have the timeline on the bottom here. So everything we animate here, here's the time and where we're gonna put keyframes, I'm gonna explain a little bit better. Here is our viewport, so whatever piece we seen we working, we're gonna see here. Here is pretty much is our project and uh, so we have the project and the fact box. So the project is gonna be where we're gonna have everything. So like when we import layers or we import images, that kind of thing, they're gonna be all that and the effect box when we create effects we're gonna use the effect on uh, on this little animation just to change the colors so it's a really basic but to give a sense of how it works effects for you guys as well and then here we have like the info so we got like RGB let me open the project so you guys can see how it is So, let me just close this for now. So if you look here, you can see better how After Effects works. So we have the viewport view where we have the animation I built. Here we have, this is called composition. We're gonna create one, so every a composition is like a, a project where you're gonna have all your timeline layers and everything. And you can of course work one composition inside the other to organize that. I'm gonna explain a little bit better. So this is just solid folder. After Effects creates when you create a new a new layer, like a solid layer in After Effects, he can always create as a solid. So he create this folder for us, and he had all the solid you create. He can put that. So I'm gonna explain a little bit better everything. So here we have what we create, you can see the difference between these two. So this is like more shape layer and this is just like a solid. I'm gonna explain that as well, so don't worry about it. And uh, also on the floor here, we, you can see I have a little effect there. Then change color for us as well. Yep. So you can see this is like the effect I add. Pretty much it just is a simple effect to change color. And then uh, it changes color between every time I tell him. So what I'm gonna try to explain for you guys a little bit how work that. So we're gonna try create a little bit and uh, we're gonna see how much we can push. If we can finish the animation, we're gonna try develop a little bit further. So I wanna get you guys, you know, to put a little bit into it. Because basically, motion graphic is two disciplines: it's a design and it's animation combined together. So it's it's quite tricky to teach design-wise because uh, it's a long process. It's 
taste each one likes or something, but I can show you guys how I do things and uh, teach you the, the animation process to this design as well, so you guys can try create and try to practice and research a little bit more. I'm gonna give my email in the end, so if you guys have questions after or want to link, so I can you know share things with you guys. So if you everyone, so everyone has After Effects or 